Untitled Podcast is a part of the Kansas Google Education Group Network and also the Mace Kansas Network. You can find more information about episodes and guests at www.untitledpc.net. Welcome to Untitled Podcast. My name is Travis True. And I'm Carol Nelson. Welcome, everyone, to this edition of the podcast. I'm Travis True. And I'm Carol Nelson. Uh, Today, we're bringing you some updates and information from February. It's hard to believe that February is almost over. As long as January felt, (laughs) February kind of felt the opposite. It just really flew by. And and at the, at the, we're recording this on, on 2-22-22. So Happy what, Tuesday. Tuesday. That's right. And so we're in our last full week of February and March is just around the corner next week and spring break will be here and then we're getting close to the end. So just hang in there, everybody. We're getting closer to getting closer to the end of end of May and the and June 1st. So, all right. So we got some information and some updates for you. So we'll, um, we'll, Carol, go ahead and start us off. All right, so let's start off with something fun that students can participate in. It's the Doodle for Google 2022 contest. It's now open for K through 12 students, and it has a theme of I care for myself by, and then they can complete that with their drawing. It's a great theme for kind of such a time as this, and we need to be thinking about our care of ourselves. Um, The deadline for that is March 4th, so that's right around the corner, but you still have a little bit of time if you wanted to squeeze in an activity with your kids. We have a couple of resources too for that. Yeah, remember about the resources on the website, um, untitledpc.net, we'll have all this linked in there yeah this is this is a really fun thing that they did that google does every year and the doodles are those pictures when you go to the website you know the google search main page and they'll change it up for different holidays or different uh, honoring different famous people and and so this whoever gets picked or whatever student gets their doodle picked that becomes a uh, highlighted doodle and gets posted and then um, they also get a scholarship or they, I think they also, um, or, uh, or win a, win a scholarship of some sort too, from Google. So there's, and there's a, a great, of, sorry, there's a great archive of past do, yeah. you know, doodles too. So you can look through those and but what a cool thing. Yeah. March, uh, but March 4th is the deadline for that. So get your kids doodling and, and get those mm-hmm. uploaded, and hopefully, um, hopefully, we can get someone from Kansas to 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 win that. That'd be awesome. Yeah, and then I've got one more to share. Um, right now, there's a good series that's just getting getting started. Um, it's a virtual training series, free training series. It's all centered around Teach with Chrome. Over the next six weeks, it just had its first one today. So it's not too late to get going in it. In it. We're going to provide you the link to the other um, different sessions in this series. There look to be some really good um, sessions on how to implement using Chrome and Chromebooks in the classroom. So definitely a great um, training series to look into and uh, share with other people. And when I registered, you can register for all of them at the same time or and pick and choose you, or you can pick and choose, <laughs> but the ones that you choose, you'll get an email because no, they are live, but they're also mm-hmm. live streamed on YouTube so that they're recorded. So you can just watch the recording if you can't catch it live. Cause it is during the day. It's like, like during lunchtime noon. Yeah. Today was at noon, right? Yeah. No. So, um, if you register for them, you can watch the recording and, um, 
it's good stuff. They started this, I think, last year, maybe the last couple years. But yeah, they got some really good topics, really good, um, some really good people um, giving you some really good information there. And a little bit of something for everyone, really. I mean, there was today's was about different Chromebooks. There's some repairability ones. There's, you know, classroom app applications. Just really something for everyone, it seems like. Yeah. Okay. Um, first thing I want to share is something that just got released last week. And this is called Google Flex. Um, Google Flex, Google, um, Google released this last week. And basically what you can do is you can create a thumb drive with Google Chrome on it, Chrome OS, and you can install that on an old PC or an old Mac or MacBook. Um, we tried it out. The first day it came out, I tried it out. It takes about 20 minutes or so um, for the app to um, build your your USB drive. You have to have a thumb drive with at least eight gigabytes of memory on it. And uh, the website that we'll link to has all the instructions. There's a there's an app you download with a wizard. You just basically continue hitting next, and it walks you through everything. Um, but we had a, an old MacBook Air probably from about 2013 or so, just laying around the office. And it took less, it took about five minutes to install Chrome OS on there. And it looks, it looks and acts just like a Chromebook now. So if you've got old, uh, computers laying around, I've done this with a couple of old laptops at my house that I that we're just collecting dust that I have. So now we have some, uh, a couple of Chromebooks so we can continue using those devices and they don't take up space. So we're not throwing them away. Uh, and this is totally free. It's Google flex is the name of it. And it is a licensed version of Chrome that you can put on your Chromebook or put on a laptop, a PC laptop or a desktop or a Mac, um, macbook air or something you know an old mac laptop that maybe you can't get updates anymore for and and it's running really slow i'll tell you what it, it, there wasn't much there wasn't much difference between um a chromebook uh, a chromebook that was probably three or four years old that we had in the office versus this 13 this macbook air from 2013 there wasn't much of a difference in speed and and how it worked so um just wanted to that just was released last week by google another one that was released just a couple weeks ago that you may or may not have access to i have this is one i have access to if you remember if you listen to last our last episode we talked about the um the update to Gmail. <laughs> We're still waiting on the update for Gmail. We haven't, uh, I haven't got it on my school account. I don't have it on my personal account or my trainer account through Google. So I'm still waiting on that. But this is, this is an update through um, Google Docs. And what this does, this is a citation tool in Google Docs. And it's really cool because what you do in Google Docs is you can create these citations, but you go, in, it's under tools and you'll see citations under tools. And then you can choose, you got a window that opens up on the right and you can choose from MLA, APA or Chicago style. And then when you click the citation source button, you can pick from books, book section, websites, journal articles, newspaper articles, film, TV series, episode, miscellaneous. So I was playing around with it today and chose book. And then you have the selection, whether it's a print book, a, a hard copy book that you have in print or an ebook, like a book on a website or an online database. When I chose print, it gave me the option to enter the ISBN number. And so I enter the ISBN number, all the information populates in, and then all I have to do is click add citation and it adds my citation right into my document and it saves 
that citation over in that window so I can use it later um, if I need to later on. So it's really, um, it's really uh, a pretty cool tool that they've added. I know they had it in the uh, explore mm -hmm. the explore option down there in the in the corner. It's kind of hidden down there before. Mm -hmm. It's not in explore anymore. It's up in, under tools under citation, and so you can go through and um, it'll give you fields to fill out for like author name and date and all everything. Um, and you can manually enter what you need to enter. So it's a really good citation tool that's built into Google Docs um, just recently here in the in the last couple weeks. So uh, check that out definitely. Um, and that's under Google Docs. And the last thing that I wanted to share with you is I was a guest um, last week on Emporia State Teacher College's podcast called We Teach This. We'll link to it in the show notes, but the website's emporia.edu slash W, sorry, H-W-T-T, -T, how, how We Teach This is the name of the podcast and christy dugan is the host and she reached out and we just you know talk some talk some tech and talk some um, uh, tech during you know a pandemic and and some other things and that episode hasn't come out yet but be on the lookout for that that'll come out here shortly but i just wanted to give a shout out to christy and and uh check out her podcast there from emporia state and um, and they've they've had some really interesting guests on there talking about all kinds of different all kinds of different topics. So um, check that out on their website. So well, Carol, is that all we got for February? I know it's a short month, so it's a sh not a lot of updates because there I guess were it's not. Right <laughs> but y'all to update people on Mace. It's still happening. Is it what almost a week away? Yes, or we are. Two we weeks? are a week and two days away from MACE 2022. Um, those of you that are listening and that are registered, I, everybody's super excited to get together again and have MACE. Matt Miller, um, he's really excited about coming out and, and keynoting. Um, and we got some really good presentations happening both Thursday and Friday. So um, if you didn't get a chance to register, I apologize. We, you know, we limited registration just to keep numbers down. And hopefully next year, you know, I think we said this last year, but hopefully next year we're in a spot where we can open it up to a full, um, to a full conference and we can have all, um, our normal, our normal size conference going on. But um Looks like the weather may may hold out and not be not be super cold like it is right now, and um, we're just super excited to have everybody um, at K State on March third and fourth, and to see Matt Miller and just to see everybody because we haven't haven't seen anybody everybody for a couple of years. So yeah. Um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good time. Um, I know people that are going have reached out to me about how excited they are and and um, how excited they are just to do just to get in, you know see people that that's the only time they see them is at mace and 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 um, learn you know learn some new stuff mm -hmm. because it's it's been um it's been a while online. It's been it's been a while, and online and online conferences just aren't the same as they're as not in person conferences. So. They're not. However, remind people that didn't get registered about the hashtag because they could still get something valuable out of um, Twitter or some of the postings of those that are going. Yeah. So the uh, co the conference hashtag is uh, on Twitter is hashtag mace ks22 it's m-a-c-e-k-s 22 that's the hashtag we'll use for the conference so you can follow along and see all of the um, different things that get posted by uh, the people who are at the conference uh, you can also follow the mace account on twitter it's at under at mace 
underscore KS. Um, that's where we are on, on Twitter. That's the official Mace account. You can follow us and we'll keep, you know, we'll keep you updated through that on, on keynote and some other presentations going on, but follow the hashtag for sure. Cause that's kind of where the power of the, of the conference is. If you're not um, actually there, um, you can still learn a lot of good stuff from following the hashtag. All right. Well, I think that's just going to about wrap it up for this episode. So Carol, um, stay warm. I, <laughs> it got, it got a little, got a little cold today, but um, I want to thank, I want to thank everybody for listening and we'll see you next time. See you next time. <laughs>